Hi, welcome back Sterling C. Sample here, the Steel Jump Training Center of the World Steel Jump Training Center of America. Um, today, I'm going to do a beginner's class, okay? I do a beginner's class, this is for beginners, okay? You, you don't know nothing about the pan, you just bought your steel pan and you're opening it up the case and everything, you have your sticks and make sure you have your stands and everything. Now the stands is, is, is basically, basically like this. Oh, let me get the stand right here. This is the stand. This is the basic stand sold by my boy. Uh, uh, keep it. Salmon, Salmon, Epan, Epan man, keep it. The steel pan man. Uh, the electronic steel pan, the first Epan man. He have all the stands you want. You can check him out online. He's on my page. On this page, this page that you're looking at right now, on my uh, steel jump training center page, you will find his link. You get stands, a stand like this, open up like this. Let me see if I can open up this bad boy here. This bad boy opens up. Anyway, it opens up into a single stand. We, you, you will know that by, by the time I'm finished this program. There's one for the tenor pan. There's one for the second pan. This is the double for the second pan. You need a stand, okay? First thing you need is a stand. You need your pan. You need sticks. Steel drum sticks, they're online. You get them online, okay? Uh, when you take your pan out the case, okay, all the nice little case, most of them come with a nice little case like this, you know, you get a case to protect your instrument, you must protect your instrument, get a case, the case, the pan and everything, most steel band manufacturers give you a nice package, okay, um, my man Don Levy give you a nice package, you go, uh, my, I got guys in Brooklyn who give you a nice package. You buy it through me, you can get a nice package for a steel drum, okay? Now, when you get your steel drum, you take it out of the case. Most, most manufacturers give you a little diagram of the steel drum, of the steel drum, okay? Of how your notes are situated. You must know how your notes are situated, right? Now, check this out now. Now, this pan here have the notes situated. This pan, this is a brand new pan. I don't need to mark my notes out. But you need to mark your notes out so you can find them, okay? Okay? As I tell you, what you do, you line it up with a piano. You must have some kind of piano in your house if you're a musician. Or you go online and get a piano diagram. And you hit the C on the piano. Right? And hit the C on your pan. Make sure you find the same notes. They all have a high and low notes. Mark, mark this is a C. Mark C on this. C here and C on the low, the high note. The low notes on top and the high notes on the bottom, okay? Remember, the low notes on top and the high notes on the bottom. Some have th the octaves, okay? A low octave, a middle octave, some have three octaves. Some goes right down into the middle of the pan here. So like this one, it have three octaves. So you make, make this is C here, the low octave, C middle octave, and C high octave, okay? So, so you need to you need to write out all the notes in the pan, okay, guys? So you can know the notes. But then after you learn that, you need to learn the notes by heart. Now, there's two sets of tenor pan, as I explained to you in one of my videos before. There's two sets of tenor pan. There's a fourth and fifth. There's a fifth, fourth and fifth, and fifth. Okay? This is a fifth here. This is the, this is my style of I play here. It's a fifth. Now all the notes on the fifth pan. This fifth band, all the natural notes is on the left side, and all the sharps and flats is on the right side. Again, all the natural notes are done on your left side. It'll be your right on the screen, and the left side and the right side have all the sharps and flats. It'll be your left on the screen. Okay. Now, the most standardized pan, the one that you are likely to buy, and the most standardized pan is the fourth and fifth. That's this style over here. Okay. The fourth and fifth is opposite to the fifth. All the flats and sharps is on the left side, your right of the screen, and all the sh all the regular, the natural notes is on the left side, your left of the screen. So the difference between these pans, two pans, is that one is one have the sharps on the right, one have the sharps on the one have the sharps on the left. Okay, guys. So now, now that we do that, mark out all your notes. Mark your notes with a oh, you get some tape, you get some masking tape like this, and you put it. You put it at the top of the pan if you don't want it, if you want your pan to stay nice and clean because after you done learn the notes you'll want to rub it off you want to look like a professional you know you want to take you down learning your notes take this masking tape like that about that size 
Mark C on it and stick it right above your C here. Okay, so now you just had to make one, put, put one because you know the one below is the octave on it, so you'd have to put three, three set of masking tape. Just put one right at the top of your C here, right up of your C here, and you're good to go. Okay, guys, now when you do that, after you finish marking out your pan, all your notes and everything, uh, find your shafts and flats, get a piano and, and find all the notes and then put it on your pan. Now, next thing you need to do is learn how to how to start to play this pan, okay? Um, how to position your hand, how to stand behind the pan. Watch, watch how I'm standing. I'm not quite back here behind the pan and trying to stretch like that. I'm like here, okay guys? Right by my waist. Make sure the pan is a good height for you too. By your waist, dropping right below your belly, right? If you have a big belly, but that's, that's not, you can still hold that belly right there like me, okay? But listen, hold it right here by between, by your waist size, okay? So you can move your hand. Just like when you're sitting on a piano, you're going to sit properly. Just behind a pan, you're going to stand properly. Okay, guys? Now, when you do, when you reach all this position now, now you start to learn your notes. Okay? Learn your notes. Now, most likely, I will show you from C here, but this pan, the other pan is a different. Mine is a fifth. You're going you to be learning fourths and fifth, right? But the, but the main thing is to find your chromatic scale chromatics learn your abc just like you go to kindergarten the first thing you learn is your abc okay learn your abc first when you go to kindergarten first thing we teach you is what your abc okay then they start putting words letters together then they start remembering the letters then they start putting words together then they start putting sentences together then you can read good okay excuse me so first thing you do start from your c find your c major c c c, c note and after c is C sharp most like most of the time in the alphabet musical alphabet we start from C because C is basic most of your most of your lessons gonna start from C C is the basic and the easiest in our C is like the A in the alphabet C in A in the regular world alphabet C is like the A in the regular world alphabet as as far as we can see then C so you do C then after C you go one note ahead a half note ahead with a C sharp so C, a half note ahead of C is C sharp. And then C sharp, a half note ahead of C sharp is D. Right? So C, C sharp, D, half note ahead, okay? C to C sharp is a half note. C sharp to D is a half note. D to E is another half note. Your alphabet, remember your alphabet? C, D, E, F, G, A, C, D, E, F, G, A. But you're putting in the sharps and the flats inside of there, okay? So now C, C sharp, D, E flat, E flat. That's my E flat after after D, right? So, so if you find your C, you mark it out. You go to D, so C sharp, then D, then E flat, then E, and alphabetical order, okay? Then F, then G, then G sharp, F. F sharp, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, and back to C. Right? So, musical alphabet, start from, start from C. C, D, E. See how my hands moving? Watch how my hands are moving. Watch how my hands are moving. Okay, guys? Watch my hands. Watch how I'm moving in color, color, color. See what I play shit? See what? This, this part is still over here. Hand movements. I will teach you hand movements after a while, okay? Right now, you just need to learn the notes. We're going to learn hand movements in the next lesson, okay? I will teach you hand movements in the next lesson. But right now, you need to learn the notes. C, C sharp, D, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C. And you keep going. As you come down there, you go to the high notes. Start, start back again, but go high. C, C sharp, D, E flat, D, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, B flat, C, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D. Right? So, so that's how the chromatic scale goes. You learn that, you learn all your notes. That's called a chromatic scale. That's the most important 
skill you need to learn while you're learning to play this instrument okay your first skill is your chromatic skill it's called chromatic the next skill you're going to learn is diatonic this is chromatic okay chromatic means one after the other one after the other that's chromatic so chromatic go like this That's how the chromatic scale go. So you apply that in your music every day. Every day you come behind your pan, your first thing you learn, practice chromatic scale. Oh, go ahead. I bring it all the way down. I, I could I could just play without watching my pan. I've learned my notes, I've revised my notes in my head. <coughs> just like driving. You know where the brakes is, you know where the hand, you know where the, the gear is. You don't have to look at it every minute. Okay? Just so with the pan just and it's like that, okay? You can do a chromatic scale like this to make it a little fancy. Right? When in Despot, I always tell you a story. When I used to play in Despot, I now start, you know? I used to be tearing that scale up and down the scale, you know? Tearing it up. I don't know what I'm playing, but I'm tearing it up. You know what I'm saying? So, so, chromatic scale is what we need to learn as beginners, okay? From the chromatic scale, you go into your diatonic scale and stuff. Now, I'm going to teach you a song, okay? I'm going to teach you how to start to play this stuff by beats, okay? Now, you learn beats, uh, steel drum, the makeup of learning beats, drops, and rolls. Okay, beats, drops, and rolls. A beat is like a uh, that's that's two drops. One, two, oh, one, two, three, oh, one, two, three, four. It must be in a four beat, in a four beat bar. One, two, three, four. Everything in, in our four beats. One, two, three, four. 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 Uh, so like that. That's that. That's beats. Okay. So a roll now is like a one, two. A roll now is roll. Roll is you. You're playing the notes one after the other in a striking mode. Okay, one hand hitting the same spot while the other hand coming hit the same spot. Same spot, boom. See, so like you get a target right here. See, so that's your target right there. One hand hit here, and the one hand, next hand come up right and hit the same target. Okay, one hand hit that target right there, next hand hit the same target. And then you, you're coming like this. You're coming like you're crossing the sticks like this. Okay, we're headed for the same target. Okay, it's like a. Right, it coming almost close, so close to the to the note that it that it you know that 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 it hitting that striking moment as fast as possible. You're moving like this, but then you're speeding it up. Okay, and watch how I holding my sticks. Watch me. These two fingers right here, my sticks right here, and these back these backing it up right here to hold it. Okay, watch me. See these two? Just these two here holding your sticks, and you do your hand inside like that. You have a motion like that. See the space between my hand? You see my two thumbs facing? My two thumbs facing each other? And we like that. Practice that, okay? Click it on the screen and do that. Do this with your hands. Practice. This is practice. All this is practice right here. Moving in wrist, wrist movements is very important, okay? So now, rolling. You're rolling like this. One, two, three, one, two, three four, five, six, seven. Is that sometimes this hand is stronger than this hand right and sometimes this hand more have more rhythm than this hand and most people start to roll with their with their right hand right like that right but sometimes 
it's good to start to roll with your left hand, your weaker hand. You know what? Start to roll. Shut. It's good to roll with your weaker hand and you get you get a more steady flow because your weaker hand getting the full slash. Once your weaker hand get the full slash, your second hand, your, this right hand, strong hand, go always come in and fit and, and make it more smooth. Like this. Full. When you right hand start, you go like this. Do the same thing with your left hand. Right? So now, that's beat. Now, now, so, so beat is one, one, two, one, two, three. It's good if you can get a metronome. And go, a metronome going talk, 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 That's a metronome. And you follow it. Right? That's for beats. That's for rolls. Okay? Now, one roll is like one, two, three, and four. And two roll is like one, two, three, and Three rollers like one, two, three, and a four rollers one, two, three, four. Right again, rows are like this one, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. You roll for five, one, two, three, four, five. Roll for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Roll for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And roll for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? Now, so far, we're going good. Now you understand what is drops. You understand what is beats. You know how to get your chromatic scale. You write out all the notes in your pan already. Okay? So now, I think we're kind of ready to... To, um start with we, 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 our full song maybe now if you if you if you are going too fast for you rewind the tape go back and rewind the tape go back to the top and learn your stuff this is the beauty of this of this of this medium here you can rewind you can take your time how fast you want to go okay but you must you must have your tempo three four one two three four it's important and you must be on time Good musician, just be exactly on time. A good musician, don't rush. You don't be ahead and you don't be behind. You're either a rusher or, 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 or a lagger. You can't be none of them. You gotta be on time. You can't be a rusher. And you can't be a, 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 a lagger. You can't be behind. You can't be in front either. You gotta be exactly on time. So timing is very important, okay? Right? So now, let's go on, okay? So we learn drops. We learn rules. Okay, let's talk about phrasing. Okay, phrasing. If somebody's singing a song and they say, Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. So, Mary had a, Mary had, that's a phrasing, okay? That's a phrase. How you make things? A phrase is a, a phrase is, is a moment. It's something, how, how, how something is made, okay? So, 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 so Huh? Mary is one. Mary. Then the next note. B. Mary had a little lamb. Right. So now, now those notes are right there. I know some of you say I'm going too fast, so I don't know what what notes that he played there. You know. So that that's just a B B A B A G. Right. B A G A B B B. B A G A B B B B is one, A is one, G is one, then back to A, then B for four, B for one, two, three. So remember, remember the three beats I show you in the, in the four beats in a bar? One, two, three, one, two, three, 
right? Mary had a little lamb, right? B, 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 then A. A, A, A. Same thing you do on B, you do on A. M, two, three. Then one. Then you go back to B. B, B. Then B, D, D. Right? B, D, D. Mary had a so, so listen to, listen to the two different phrases, okay? When somebody gave you a phrase, you played exactly how they gave it to you, okay? So, Mary had a... That's Mary had a... That's one phrase. Now, hear the difference between the other phrase. Mary had a... So, you see the difference? One jerk a little bit and one stay straight. So, one... Mary had a little... Love. And the next one is... Mary had a little... Love. And the next one is Mary had a little lamb, little lamb. Okay, so that's phrase. When somebody tell you a phrase, you have to play the right way. You hear a song on the radio, you hear with phrase, okay? You hear a phrase, it says, Amazing grace, how sweet. You know, son. Somebody can you can you can change, you can change it up how you want to do it, but the phrasing must be right. That gives the individual his own style, you know. Uh, if I arrange you doing a song, uh, all stars might phrase different to desperados and renegades go choose phrase different to Bugsy and and you know everybody have a different style phrasing. But you have to understand the phrase that you're, you're under. You you're learning. Keep the phrase. Somebody give you a style. Somebody play. Play it the right way, okay? So Mary had a little lamb. What's well, like this? One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one. Check the beats. One, two, one, one, okay? One, 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 two, three. One, two, three. One, two. One, one, two, Mary. Right? Now, no, that's beats, okay? That's your full song. You just learned your full song. So I give you the notes, okay? B, A, B, E, A, G, A, B, 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 A, 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 B, B, D, right? Then same, repeat the same thing over again. One more time. B, B, stop on the B, 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 B. Then the second time come around, it changed. Most of the time when you're playing music, and it goes one wrong, it come, come around the second time, it changes the second time. So you can go into the other verse, okay? Music is like that. Um, music is, 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 everything is predictable in music. Music is really something predictable. We can know what's coming after. We can... Play it in our head and then play it on our steel drums, okay? You can you can predict what's coming after. Now, Mary had a little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Her fleece was white as snow. We know that, okay? Uh, we know that. We can go, go on and pick a set of nursery rhymes. We can go on and pick a... Um, uh, uh, we can go and do Amazing Grace, you know? F sharp, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, D, F sharp, right? So I want to play one, 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 then, then E, D, then B, A, B, F sharp, then B, A, B, A. Go on and choose and play any little song with no one. Learn this little basic song before you go anywhere. But the most important thing for you to do, take some time, run through this tape, learn about it every day. You, uh, get your chromatic scale down pat. Okay? You C, C sharp, uh, D, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp. Go all the way around the pan until you can't go no more. Do it over and over. Bring it down to a science. Learn all your notes. Close your eyes and find your notes. Okay? 
close your eyes so you can play notes okay remember there's two different kind of pounds there's fourths and there's four there's fifths and there's fourths and fifth your fourths and fifths gonna be different than my my fifth okay um you learn it you practice it day and night listen to me practice is very important okay you have to make time if you want to learn this instrument you have to make time and do it on a daily basis every time you set up your pan in your house and every time you pass by leave your sticks inside don't put it in the case leave it set up in the house in a corner somewhere so whenever you come you have you, maybe you come from work or before your dinner or something you just go up and run run this run the scale and go and sit down and relax and do whatever you do, do whatever you have to do come back again run the scale again learn it that way um uh look get get books get watch watch a lot of tea uh study a lot of music uh do things pertaining to this instrument that will will teach you sometimes we have a lot of spare time and we sit and watch a tv watch a movie i can't even watch a movie no more i can't and sometimes i want to sit down in my house and relax but we ha if you want to learn this thing you have to be persistent behind it okay so that uh maybe next year by this time you, you'll be playing you'll be playing you can go in any band and play okay anywhere you can go and play right now the next teaching is going to be hand techniques okay how to place your hands okay people want to cross their hands you don't do that you don't cross your hands and pan or kind of thing you have you, you have two sides all that all this teaching is to come okay guys so uh if you like the program subscribe to the station uh become a member okay and there's a lot of things lot of lot of good food good stuff to eat on this program good 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 music good stuff to learn the shortcuts to learn and remember we play my ear okay we ain't using no sh no no music sheet nothing <coughs> i mean if you if you if you can read that's all right um you know you do that but this is just a bonus on what we do it this is this is a bonus on steel drummers uh who, who some of us ain't got time to go to school you know i never had ch a chance to go to school to learn music i learn on my own some of us have are working people some of us ain't got time some of us have family some of us have school some of us have this and that jobs to take care of and we want to play the instrument but we just don't have the time now this is the medium for you okay so if you want check my check my link out below donate to the program sign up for the program um go to go to my uh my kickstart program might be finished by now but if it's still going on you check it out and donate to it uh send anything to sterling c sample my email address is sterling 696 at gmail.com you check it out you go there and and, you know, and uh and just just help me with this endeavor i want to teach everybody i want to teach the chinese i want to teach the russian i want to teach the french i want to teach the german i want to teach this hispanic i want to teach everybody the bible said teach all nations i want to teach all nations this steel drum instrument anybody can play this you just have to be persistent and believe in yourself okay again this is sterling c sample here coming to you from the training center as you see um, I'm, uh, I'm i'm trying to get my my training center up and running in, in, in a better situation i need more um better equipment so i can come to you guys you know i need a better better um, song equipment right now i'm doing this uh, on a makeshift studio and whatever but i know i have a vision that this training center will be top of the line one day it will be best in the world one day and i can come to you i can go to anybody i can go to a child in alaska hawaii okay even in even in, in trinidad where 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 where, where pan is is on top of the world but you know some child don't have a time to go to the yard but you can stay right behind this computer and learn you in america you in the nursing home whoever there i can teach you guys okay again sterling c sample coming to you god bless you I thank you for your proof for, for for watching this tape and I hope it's been a blessing to you. Thank you and come 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 again to the Steve Jones Center Still Sapple coming at you. God bless you and bye.